I was the second woman to serve as president of this congregation, which I'm very proud of. After some years, I followed Arlene Lowenstein, who was the first. When I first joined, we were at the Charles Street house, an old house that had been somewhat renovated for our use. And with services met in a big old front room where we had the small wooden ark built by uh, past president Ken Shongold. Later, when we expanded the building to build this sanctuary, the room we're in now, with the beautiful wood and, and the lovely ceiling and all the light that we get in here during the daytime services, it really transformed services. It was a whole different experience to be in a, a beautiful setting. Um, really ex um, created a different atmosphere for us. Well, originally, our services were led by a rabbi um, without musical accompaniment, instrumental accompaniment. Everything, all singing was a cappella. We did a lot more chanting. And over the years, we've added, we've grown our repertoire, we've added the use of musical instruments, um, which has, again, really transformed our services. Music for me, lifts the soul. And the more we can uh, incorporate new music, more music, um, different styles of music into the worship experience, um, the greater opportunity we have for different forms of expression. We were lucky to have rabbis who were very musical themselves and also interested in music and interested in expanding our musical repertoire. Another factor that led to our expansion of our music program was hiring professional musicians. Initially, we had a cantorial soloist. Our first was Alice Solero. And then we hired an invested cantor who was a, a clergy person, Cantor Irving Spinadel. And, and he was with us for uh, about six years or so. And that was really interesting because we learned so much from him as, as a professional cantor about musical styles. We learned, for example, that there are melodies that one sings at different times of year, at different services, at different times of day. We had been singing willy-nilly any melodies we knew, not knowing that sometimes we were singing during Shabbat services, we were using High Holy Day melodies. And he showed us that each festival and each Holy Day had its own set of melodies. So it was a really interesting learning experience for the congregation and again really expanded what we were doing. After Cantor Spinata left, then we hired two soloists uh, who you know now, um, Sharon Brown Goldstein and Lisa Marcus Jones, who come for various services. Both of us, uh, both of them of course are here for the High Holy Days for different services. And um, they also enabled us to expand our repertoire um, be, uh, based on what they know uh, of the music and the different styles that they bring to us. Uh, the second rabbi, senior rabbi that we had here, Rabbi Lawrence Milder, is a first-class musician, a guitar player, a singer, a songwriter. He performs musically. He's an amazing picker, uh, plays any number of electric and acoustic guitars. And so Friday night services, we would really rock out with him. And again, ex uh, a lot of the musical expansion came um, when he was our rabbi.